Avengers! Assemble. Back to the channel, it's the Prevengeance here, guys, and welcome back to another Mall Feature 5 video. We're here with the July update sneak peek number four. They did end up delaying it by a couple days because of holidays out in Korea, um, but it's here today, which means we're gonna have back to back days of content because we have the sneak peek today, the patch notes tomorrow, and then the update the day right after. This would will be a mid month update, so it'll just roll through, so no need to go into the app store to update it uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Anyways, as you can see here, it is indeed Luna Snow, so let's go ahead and get straight into the sneak peek, watch it, and then break it down for you guys like we always do. Here we go. And there you have it. So a pretty simple but effective sneak peek there uh, with Luna Snow. As you can see, we get our first look at her brand new uniform. I like how they have the color eye difference. It's a pretty cool uh, detail uh, for her uniform. Um, as you can see here, it, it has a very summer type vibe. Uh, she has like the bow tie on with the butterfly on top and then the sort of uh, light dress on. As we all know, Luna is a singer. So she, of course, has her music disc, and that's what it's kind of showing is Luna Snow coming soon. And as you can see right here, it's kind of hard to see, but when we're transitioning over, we can clearly see T4 as the screen is transferring over. I'm not going to lie. It took me a long time to notice this. I didn't notice it till I saw a post on the forums um, because it, it is very sneaky, and you can't really see it unless you actually pause the video and point it out. Um, so I like how they snuck it in there uh, very subtly because it's not as obvious as some of the other sneak peeks we have seen in the past. Uh, but at the same time, it's crystal clear. Luna Snow is getting her tier four. So what does this mean? Because this is pretty huge. Um, <laughs> so first of all, before we dive deep into it, let's go ahead and read uh, what YouTube and the forums had to say before I get ahead of myself. The Singing Hero on Ice. Are you ready for the grand comeback of the famous pop star? Check out the new look and powers of this superhero who freezes enemies with her beautiful melody and moves. And then over on the forums here, uh, the sort of thumbnail of the um, video is her actual emblem here with a sort of uh, crescent going around, which is interesting. This CM fragment of Marvel Future Fight. Agents, are you ready for the grand comeback of the famous pop star, The Singing Hero on Ice? Check out the new looks and powers of this superhero who freezes enemies with her beautiful melody and moves. We'll announce more information through the patch details later. That is telling us that this is the final sneak peek for uh, July. So that means uh, that this is the last um, part of the update um, as far as this mid-month update goes. So we're getting Mysterio and Luna Snow, uh, and that is it. Uh, we could get some sort of small quality of life change or bug fixes in the patch as well. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So, um, not gonna lie. I'm gonna, <laughs> I looked through the comments, and I'm not going to look through them too much uh, because sometimes you guys can uh, say some pretty crazy stuff on there. But we do seem to have a mixed sort of uh, feeling from everybody for this sneak peek. Obviously, you can tell by me, I'm pretty excited, um, but I'm going to explain why. So let's dive right into it. So first of all, um, Luna's getting the tier four, right? And so what's huge about that is that she's immediately going to most likely replace Gwen, Black Widow, Shadow Shell, you name it, in ABX and ABL. She will dominate as the superhero speed female. Um, and she will, of course, dominate in World Boss Legend GBR as well. Uh, we'll have to see if she how she matches against Jean and GBR. Um, but in World Boss Legend, she'll definitely take over from Gwen and all those other characters that I previously named. Now, the big thing everyone's talking about is, is she going to be a paywall uniform? We do not get any confirmation here through this sneak peek at all about whether she will be a uh, 
a uh, paywall or a crystal character. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, and I hate to break it to some of you guys, because I know there's still a lot of people out there that for some reason believe she's going to be a crystal uh, uniform. Guys, she is not. She is 100%. There's no doubt in my mind she will be a paywall uniform, and here is why. This is the summer update, and every summer update, we have a paywall uniform. Last year, it was Storm. The year before that, it was Silk. Um, every year, there's a paywall uniform, and it is normally the female u- character. The male character, like Iceman uh, last year, and I can't remember who was pat- uh, matched up with Silk, uh, Cable, um, they are always uh, the crystal uniform. And because of that, I don't see them changing that trend at all. Uh, I think it's pretty safe to assume that Mysterio will be Crystal and Luna will be Paywall. So yeah, sorry to you, those free-to-play players. Uh, I personally will be uh, picking up her uniform uh, on the main account, of course. Um, So I'm excited because I have a second potential ticket uh, sitting around waiting. uh, And if I'm going to get her uniform, might as well go all in. So I'm going to go ahead and take her straight to Tier 4. I'm going to try to Tier 4 her Day 1, basically. Uh, so I'm pretty excited because she's always been dominant in PvE, like I said. Um, it would be interesting now. People are talking about her potentially being a hybrid. I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, we're not going to really... Uh, well, I didn't say this yet, but um, we're basically not going to be able to tell that until the patch notes. Um, so I'm not sure about that, um, but it would be pretty interesting to see that as well. Um, but like I said, she's always in the past dominated PvE, so I don't see that stopping anytime soon, especially with the huge level 80 and tier 4 upgrades. Uh, so as far as my account, we're going to be building her to tier 4. Um, the only thing I'm missing for her is a rage. I'm going to try and play Shadow Lion up to stage 125 to get that selector and go ahead and grab her a rage. Because uh, if I'm going to want a tier 4 her, I definitely want to make sure that I have a rage for her. Because she is definitely going to um, exceed with a CTP of rage compared to anything else. Now, the only other thing that I do want to talk about before we sort of wrap up the video is people are still wondering, is Mysterio going to be a tier 4? Are we going to have our first sort of mid-month here with two back-to-back tier fours. Now, obviously, we can't answer that yet because we have to wait to the patch notes tomorrow. Uh, once the patch notes come through, everything will be crystal clear. Um, <laughs> crystal. Um, sorry, <laughs> but it'll be crystal clear by then. Um, but I would think it's safe to assume that Mysterio is also getting a tier four. I think we're going to have two tier fours for the very first time in a mid-month uh, update. I don't see why not. Like I said, in Mall Future Fight, we always have this power creep. I sort of talked about this in the uh, last video that we did talking about Mysterio. We've always seen this sort of power creep um, in Marvel Future Fight where we're eventually they make it harder and harder. Eventually, we saw more tier fours coming out. Um, we had one tier four a month, then two, then three. Um, and then now it looks like we might start having four. So I don't see why not. Um, they also added some uh, tier four materials in the other world battles. So they could say that's their way of helping us keep up. Uh, and so that that's the sort of excuse to just keep on throwing out these tier fours. But to be honest, the other thing is, if you really think about it, if you're a free-to-play player, you probably skipped on Odin, and you're probably skipping on Luna as well. So you could go and tier catch up on some of these other tier fours that you may or may not have already built. Um, so I don't see it as a huge issue either. Um, now, eventually, if <laughs> it might at some point, I feel like there will be a sort of four back-to-back tier fours where um, I'm going to assume two of them are going to be must-haves. At some point, it's going to fall like that. And at that point, then, yeah, you're probably going to be a little frustrated that you don't have enough tier four mats. But I'm sure by the time that that time comes, we'll have some other way of getting a little bit more mats. Um, So I think we'll be just fine for now. But yeah, overall, I'm excited. I can't wait uh, to look at the patch notes tomorrow, see if she's a hybrid or still just straight PvE. Either way, I'm tier 4 her. Like I said, I'm going all out for the uniform, so I might as well tier 4 her. And she's always been meta, so I don't see them stopping that anytime soon. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my breakdown and sort of analysis over the July update sneak peek number 4 for Luna Snow. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. Like I said, I've already checked out some of you guys on the forum, so I know it's pretty split right now. Um, but I would still be curious to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, that'll do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, as always, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel, guys. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care.